Hello students hope you are well and working hard to achieve your goals so today we will start our next topic that is production possibility curve its meaning assumptions and characteristics and then we will discuss central problems and the production possibility curve where the central problems include problem of what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce problem of fuller and efficient utilization of resources and the problem of economic growth so first of all we will discuss some key terms that today we are using so first one is opportunity cost for example if you spend time and money going to a movie then you cannot spend that time at home for reading a book or for studying purpose right what is this this is opportunity cost means if we getting something we definitely losing some other thing for example graduation versus job entrepreneurship versus study job entrepreneurship means to open up own business and to go for some other job so what is this this is a opportunity cost means means the loss of other alternatives when one alternative is chosen so next is production possibility curve for example suppose a farmer has a piece of land where he can produce wheat or cotton or vegetables so if he decide to produce more wheat then he must produce fewer other crops so that means the production of one commodity would reduce the production of other commodity because the available resources are limited so that is the production possibility curve for so now we will discuss the our topic that is production possibility curve as production possibility curve is a curve which shows all possible combinations of two goods that can be produced by making full use of given resources and technology in an economy means there are the possible combinations that the person or a people can produce and make use of given resources or a limited resources that they can have so it should be remembered here that that an increase in the production of one commodity would reduce the production of other commodity and the available resources can be used alternatively to produce different combinations of goods and services which are known as production possibilities and the curve that shows these alternative goods is known as production possibility curve so first of all we will discuss our schedule so this table reveals that with the given resources and technology the economy can produce maximum either 5000 meters of cloth or 15000 quintals of wheat or any other combination that is b c d and e where they can produce according to their capabilities next there is a marginal opportunity cost that is always increasing because we have to decide that if we producing one more commodity of one commodity then we have to sacrifice the other commodity so that is the marginal opportunity cost and it is always increasing this diagram the quantity of cloth produced is measured along the horizontal axis and the quantity of wheat along the vertical axis so in this points a b c d e and f shown that six possible combinations of these two commodities which the economy can produce with given amount of resources and technology by joining these points we obtain a production possibility curve so production possibility curve is also known as transformation curve as movement along this curve means one more commodity as this curve means producing one more commodity by sacrificing some other commodity and this is called production possibility curve next our point is assumptions that what are the things that are assuming and the production possibility curve is 
drawn. So first one is the amount of productive resources is fixed. That means the resources that are utilized is fixed in the production possibility curve. Next, there is a no change in technology. At that time, at that time when the production is done, there is a no change in the technology. Next, all the productive resources are fully and efficiently employed. Means the employees or the other resources are used according to, according to their capabilities and the abilities they have. So next, all the resources are not equally efficient in the production of all the goods. This means that if resources are transferred from the production of one commodity to another, there is decrease in their efficiency resulting in increase the cost of production of other commodity. So that is why all resources are not equally efficient in the production of all goods. So these are the assumptions of the production possibility curve. Next one is the characteristics of the production possibility curve. There are two characteristics. First one is it slopes downwards to the right. Right? Like downwards to the right. As we are choosing one more commodity of a cloth, we are losing the some other commodities of wheat that are produced in the country. Likewise, it is concave to the point of origin as it shows the operation of the law of increasing marginal opportunity cost. Like marginal opportunity cost is 15 minus 14 is 1. The additional unit that are produced or that are losing to produce some other commodity is the marginal opportunity cost and it is always increasing. That is why our production possibility curve is concave to its origin. So this is the characteristics that the production possibility curve has. So next topic is central problems and the production possibility curve. So our first problem is problem of what to produce. In this with the given resources and technology the combinations of two goods that lie anywhere on the production possibility curve AF like production possibility curve A to F can be produced such as A, B, C, D, E and F. And the problem of choice is indicated by the attainable points A, B, C, D, E and F on the production possibility curve. So in this if the society chooses combinations A, B, C then it implies that it has decided to produce more of wheat and less of cloth. Similarly or the contrary to it if the society decides any combinations like EF then it shows to produce more of cloth than the wheat. Then this problem of what to produce is solved with these combinations that can be produced in an economy. Next one is problem of how to produce. Means if the technique used in production is obsolete then the economy will not be able to produce or to operate on the production possibility curve. But somewhere it like point A, K, sorry. For example, just see the diagram that this is a point K. If the technology is obsolete, that means we are not using our resources fully. So we cannot operate on a production possibility curve that is A, B, C, D, E and F means A to F. We are not operating on this curve or somewhere inside this production possibility curve. So the economy has to change the technique of production so as to produce the or produce on production possibility curve and use fuller utilization of their resources. That is known as the problem of how to produce. Next the problem arise that is for whom to produce. So for example if the economy produces more of luxury goods 
it implies that more is produced for rich men than for the poor there is thus the economy can shift from its resources from the production of luxury goods to the production of necessary goods so that the production possibility curve operates in an economy so this problem is solved by shifting the production from the luxurious goods to the necessary goods next point is problem of fuller and efficient utilization of resources so in this if all the resources are fully and efficiently utilized then the production will take place at some points on the production that is possibility curve a to f a that indicates that we are using our resources fully but if the economy producing outside this curve that means it is not possible because the resources are fully utilized at this point and we are not having some other resources because resources are limited in nature as we are assuming the productive resources are fixed and limited so we cannot produce the r point that means outside the production possibility curve then their point indicates k as it is also not possible or it is possible but in this case some of the resources are lying idle or some of its resources are not used efficiently so by using its available resources fully and efficiently the economy can either move from k to c or k to d or k to e so there from a to f that indicates the fuller and efficient utilization of resources can be achieved and this problem is solved so next is problem of economic growth in this the problem arises due to some growth of resources or due to lack of resources so with the growth of resources or improvement in technology the production possibility curve shifts or increases in the economy for example with the given resources and technology the economy can produce a to f points of production possibility curve and cannot go beyond this production possibility curve this would become possible only when economy's production possibility curve shifts upward to the right due to the growth of resources and improvement in the technology and then the economy produce more wheat and the cloth with some other combinations that i show in the diagram from a1 to f1 points and this is the new production possibility curve that shows the production possibility curve with the growth of resources and the improvement in the technology so next one is the lack of resources or due to the resources that are not used properly so in this case the production possibility curve can also shift to the left because resources decrease it is a real po rare possibility but it can happen if the size of the population decrease or fall in the population size or due to the various problems like wars so in such a situation the production possibility curve shifts inward from the inside from a to f to the a1 to f1 side so new production possibility curve can be formed so this is the production possibility curve shows when there is a resources are not properly utilized or lack of resources next is there is another situation that can be arise so in this diagram we can say that the advancement in technology takes place only in wheat production if there is a improvement in the production and there is a improvement in technology and resources but only in wheat production then production possibility curve shifts from a to a1 but 
not in cloth size cloth production remains unchanged so there if an economy makes advancement in technology but restricted to only one commodity that is wheat so advancement in technology takes place only in wheat production then the production possibility curve will shift from a point or a point to a1 point so this implies the production new production possibility curve that is from a1 to f so next point is can two production possibility curves intersect each other so we can say that yes the two production possibility curves can intersect each or other or cut each other there we can see the two points resources for good x should increase and the resources for good y should decrease that are used for the production so in this if the resources for good x is increased then the production possibility curve shifts upward direction and if the resources for good y decrease for then the production should reduce from and the production possibility curve shifts inward and then this time it intersect each other or cut each other so this is all about the central problems and the production possibility curve so you have to write the question answers so question is define production possibility curve and show the following situations on the diagram the problem of scarcity problem of under utilization of resources and the problem of full employment of resources so go for various links and for other sources to write the better answer for this question